this is the 1979 uh, Johnson 35 horse electric start and stuff that I was uh, I'm a selling consignment for a customer. It had super bad wiring issues. I installed a new uh, wire harness, a new fuse, uh, new spark plugs, new gear oil. Um, the reason why I choked it to kill it is because that's the only way I could kill it right now. Um, I have my little uh, harness connection thing hooked up to it and it works perfectly fine. Um, this black wire with the yellow stripe right here, you can see a little pinhole right there. So when you ground out that wire to the power pack, um, it kills a spark. Um, I got this little safety clip thing right here, poked it into the wire to make contact with the wire, and then grounded it out to the engine block, and it's still not dying. So that tells me that this goes straight to the power pack. So most likely with that, uh, the bad wiring harness, there's a whole bunch of wires touching each other and everything else that it might've messed something up inside that power pack um, because it just goes straight. When you ground out that wire, it's that one right there, a black wire with the yellow stripe. When you ground that out, it's supposed to kill the engine and it's not doing that. So it has to be the power pack. Um, I also replaced the um, that elbow piece right here, uh, the 90 degree water tube elbow piece on the side of the exhaust manifold. Um, that was busted off and uh, tuned the carb, adjust the idle, all that fun stuff. It's running good, it's pumping water good, it's shifting good, but it's not dying uh, when I kill it like it's supposed to. So it's going to take a second for it to start back up because I choked it to kill it and basically flooded it to to make it stop. But here. why it was harder to start like it says because I flooded it to kill it. Um, it's shifting fine. It's reversed. Neutral. Board. Neutral. So it's going to need a different power pack uh, for it to kill like it's supposed to. That's off. It should be killing it. Like I said, I went straight to the power pack wire to engine ground and it's still not dying. So the only thing it could be is the power pack on it. So I'm gonna have to chat with the customer because it needs to be able to die when you turn the key off, um, or at least when you ground that damn wire out. I got this one right here, but it's not. So uh, it's running good, pumping water good, shifting good, uh, new gear oil, new 90 degree elbow piece, new spark plugs, um, new wire harness, new fuse, um, but it looks like it needs a power pack.